Hey, were you ever just jacking off one day and wondered how the MTG Arena economy worked? Well, here's a rundown. W what is this lag? If you don't hate my guts from the last video I made for exaggerating a single point, here's my no BS guide on how Arena's economy works. Instead of being a normal digital card game and letting you disenchant cards down to some currency, Hazro's like... <laughs> and instead, in Arena you have wild cards. The only way to get wild cards is to open packs. You can also draft so much that you max out on 4 copies of a singular card, which then Arena converts your extra cards into the vault. That then gives you wild cards upon maxing it out. But if you don't like playing limited, opening packs is the best way of getting wild cards. I guess you could technically make use of the vault system by spending your hard earned gold on jumpstart events to try and complete your collection, but set completions don't do anything. So to get wild cards like a normal human, you are likely opening packs that either gives you a wild card or contribute to a wild card, which costs 1000 gold, which requires you to have a 750 gold quest and to win three games in a row in a session, which can take a while. So much of this video is just blatantly disingenuous. You get 1,000 gold every day for basically playing two games through daily challenges. Turn one, play land. Yes, riveting gameplay. Take this, the power of a single worm. No, Jeffrey, why? Okay, take this, bitch. Oh, oh shit. Uh, which card do I discard? Yes, yes. I could have never seen that coming after your last 20 removal spells. But I'm gonna hit you with my pen ultimate worm. Good game design. Th this guy Jokes has a on billion you. draws. I have my own. My lands are getting cards. killed. Yes, he's he's finally at one HP. You know what? That that that's fine. No, that's a real card. You know, maybe I needed four worms that game to win. Well, after playing two games before the longest game ever, at least my quest is complete now. And we're not even close. So after several games or an hour of your ever shortening lifespan, if you want the guaranteed rare wild card, you're gonna have to buy six packs. So do the last step six times on six different days. And at this point, I think I'd rather jack off. Well, the total amount of gold you earn from daily wins is 750 gold, but only if you win 15 games each day, which is bullshit. Luckily, a big bulk of it comes from the first four wins. So if you're playing casually, I wouldn't worry about getting 15 wins. You should also be rerolling quests every day. Each day you get a free reroll and you have a chance to turn a 500 gold quest into a 750 gold quest. If you really need to speed run these quests, what the fuck? You can grab a friend and fulfill whatever criteria you need through challenges. Though these won't grant you daily wins if that's what you're looking for. But enough about gold. What about gems? You know, every generic pay to win currency mobile games love using. What about those? If you want the best bang for your buck, the mastery pass is probably the best option. There's no concrete direct gold to gem conversion rate, but this offers you the most value for what you spend. For 3,400 gems, you get one draft token, 4,000 gold, 1,200 gems, 20 additional packs on top of the 27 free packs, and 10 random mythics from the current set. Oh yeah, and orbs for some random limited cosmetics, but that's neither here or there. If you don't think you'll be playing that much, or you realize that there are much better games to play and spend your money on, you can buy the Mastery Pass near the end, before a new set drops, and redeem all the rewards all at once. You can also save your gems before you grab the new Mastery Pass when a new set drops. After the Mastery Pass, your options for getting the most out of Arena Get the shit out of here! are going to be doing constructed events with a really high win rate, or doing premier and traditional drafts. You can do quick drafts, but the conversion rate is not as optimal, and drafting against bots is somehow more asinine than players. Hasbro is really testing the limits of AI lately, huh? I personally love limited, and even with a 50% win rate, you're getting a really good conversion rate for the amount of gold you're spending, and you're earning packs as you go along. And if you collect a rare mythic after getting 4 copies of it, it gets turned back into gems. So yeah, that's my guide. So I'm gonna put Smothering Tides anime art into S tier for my Wilds of Eldraine anime tier list. Oh yeah, someone definitely jacked off to this.